Hey everyone, welcome back. We just finished the case prep and all the other lovely fun stuff. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to work on the motherboard assembly, which involves putting our processor onto the motherboard. So you have to press this little pin down. Come on. Jesus. One time, there it is. Had to unlock it there. So you lift this up. It says, install the processor first, then remove this cover. So this is, yeah, I am incredibly nervous right now about putting this in, mainly because this is no joke. This could potentially ruin the build. So when you're installing a processor, there is one major thing you really have to be aware of and that is the direction you are installing it. Now these are very, very sensitive pieces of electronics, a lot of pins and stuff on the bottom of it. Now, if you look on the motherboard, there should be a notch. I believe it's this one right down here, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong, that's the notch on the bottom of this here. It's not gonna focus, because I turn autofocus off. Okay, so Okay, yeah, so you can see here there's a little bit less pins in the way of this, which is not bad. I'm turning autofocus on for a second. Actually, so you see right here there's this little, little tiny bit that doesn't have a pin on it. So that's gonna go on the motherboard in this little spot right here. So, oh, there's little bits on the side too. Oh yeah, I see the notches up top. So the notch is like here. Hold on, it's catching the glare. So there's notches up on the top there and right there. Focus. So my hands are shaking right now. Okay, it's in. <laughs> we did it. We. All right. So next, put this on top. Pop that off, and there you go. Did I screw this up? You said wait, stop. You cover things off by yourself. I had to pop it off. It didn't pop off on its own. You scared me. All right, for those of you who are not, I have a chat going on, <laughs> live on. They're like, wait, stop. I'm like, wait, what? What'd I do? I screwed up. I didn't screw up. Because trust me, this is the one part I made sure I would not screw up because if you screw that up, that whole thing. Got to wipe it off. No picnic, no picnic. All right, cool. So, I had to wipe that off because that's where we're going to put our thermal paste. And the webcam's doing the thing again, so. Now. There we go. Hey, <laughs> autofocus is back. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, here we go. We've got that there. Next, we need to, I'm gonna install the, uh, get this trash out of the way. I'm also just throwing the trash on the ground for right now because it doesn't really matter. Throw it off the side. Hot over goes. All right, so we're gonna be installing our RAM sticks next. Now, I can install, like I've already pre-tested pre the fit. The way our fan sits on top of this, it's gonna allow us to 
be able to use this first RAM line here. So what stinks is that some of these will have like two prongs that'll be able to pop up. This one only has it on the one side. So that's not the right side. Let's go this way. Remember what I was mentioning about the notch? Like there's the notch on these ramps go a certain way. So I'm doing, I'm just making sure I get the notch for this. There we go. It's one stick installed. Now remember, when you're building a PC, you skip RAM slots unless you're just filling them all up. Yeah, that's a nice satisfying click. All right, so remember, I have to have it so the vengeance. Ooh, look, there's a little tiny thing. I forgot about these. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. That's the good stuff. Get it seated properly. Okay. And then clunk clunk. We are locked in there. That's it. RAM is installed. So I'm pretty sure right now that's all we need to worry about for this particular part of the motherboard assembly. Um, I'm looking at my list that I have here, and it says, I just have install CPU, install the RAM sticks, and it says, put the motherboard in the case. So, I think we're going to do that. Now we can install the cooler backplate. And now, see, here's the thing that's really nice about my case by Corsair is if you notice when we used it, when I had this up here, I'm grabbing the case real quick, is that it has this massive back open area. You don't actually necessarily, you can actually install this on here, and I can put the cooler, inst I can install the cooler while this is on here. I don't have to worry about like flipping it over or anything like that. So I can actually install another word by flipping it over, and the space matches. So I've already test fit this. To make sure that we can. If not, we will, you know, just have to pull it back a little bit. So we're going to move on now from the motherboard assembly to installing this in our PC. Yikes. All right, so I'm going to put this in the case here, make sure we don't crunch any of these fan cables. There we go. So, tuck these off this side and out of the way. So we're gonna do, we're gonna take our motherboard. And now we move to a build we prepared earlier. I prepared this build earlier for you fine folks. You cook on high for 500 minutes. Now there is a peg right here, which helps me align this perfectly. And with the IO shield in place, it seats down nicely. So we got screw holes here. There we go. Screw holes here, 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 here. And I believe there is a peg that I can put on that. I don't know. There's also a screw hole right here. So there's like 10 screws. So we are going to now take our screws we separate out just right before this. I'm going to use these are supposed to be magnetic. Well, that's that's highly disappointing. Oh, okay, there we go. That's fine. Let's get us 
like a turn or two in on these. I think just using them has demagnetized them. That's sad. That's some crummy little marksmanship. Whoops. That's why I use magnetic screwdrivers, everybody. Just in case it decides to go sideways on you. Thumb screws are very nice. We have thumb screws actually for the case itself. Which is really nice. So if I want to do removal of the case at all, I'm going to get these ones in the corner over here before the magnetic part of this wears off. Just get them situated. Got two turns with that in. Yeah, just get these out of the bag, all right? So I don't have to keep jumping in the bag and all that lovely fun stuff. Properly seated. All right, so we've got that one, that one. You went up top here near the. Now, before we install stuff, our next move. This one's gonna be a tricky little screw. So, hello. Come on, you rat bastard. This one's wanting to be hard, difficult. All right, let's get started. There we go. We have four left. I'll do the upper corner over here next. get seated properly. There's one thing I hate, it screws that just don't want to seat themselves properly. Like this should just go in nice and easy, but you don't want to because you're being a pain in my butt. All right, so you got a screw here, here. That's a loose one. We've got one right up here. Let's start screwing these down a little bit more. I believe I've got all the screw holes that we have in this motherboard. I think we have some extra s screws and stuff. So it's not a bad thing. I'm pretty sure that's all of our screw holes. At least the ones that are on this. So, here we go. Just screw it on down, screw it on down. Get it nice and secure to the board. To this. I have no idea where this, necessarily where this is supposed to go. Well, here it goes. Is this threaded? I 
don't think that's threaded. Nah, it's just a motherboard post. See, this thing comes with this little tiny, like, I don't know what the screw is used for. Motherboard standoff? Hmm. I don't think we needed the motherboard standoff screw. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, so, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. And as you can see, these Corsair cases have, like I said, this lovely back area right here. So we've got our screws in. Just making sure we got all the holes screwed in and all that loveliness. So good there. So next we're going to take our back plating for our cooler, which we saw earlier. Now it has these lovely little standoffs, which I'm going to pull off for right now because we don't need them. So this is actually a dual use one. Use for, you can use an AMD, or we're using it for Intel. So these fit nicely into the holes. Drop that on down in there. Oh, I clicked it. Oh, just in case, okay, cool. All right, so. We're gonna do. Sorry, it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this part, but I'm just pushing the standoffs down onto the motherboard while keeping a hand. There we go. You guys can see this. I'm keeping my hand, my other hand, behind the board right now. I'm pushing these on because they have bits where you can just slide on, push all the way down. Push all the way down because these will screw into our fan. So we're putting the standoffs in right now. All right, there we go. So that'll have our allow for that to get on there. So what we're gonna do now is now our motherboard's in here. We're gonna switch over to some cabling. So we're gonna do some cabling to the motherboard. For this, I need to grab my bag of cables. Uh, to get my front panel attachments to the motherboard jacks. Now, these front panel attachments, there's gonna be a mess of wires in the back of this thing for, for right off the bat. Um, so, what I've already done is I've already kind of hidden this one right here up top, because that is the hard drive active light. I've got two hard drives, and one of them's an SSD, so it's literally going to be on constantly, and I don't want that light. You can choose not to put that one if you need. It's more of a vestigial thing, so I'm going to attach our USB 3.0 for our front adapter to the motherboard. It's got a notch here and a notch there, so we will attach this like so. It's in there? Yeah, it's in there. Alrighty. Actually, we should probably install the fan, plug this fan splitters in too. So I've got my front fans splitter right here. Because remember, I have standoff, I have two fans in the front. So I need to check and see which way these go. And I'm going to take that this right here. It's going to like that. And this one will plug into this one. Like, come on. So, okay. So we've got our front fans now hooked up to our power thing here. So I'm going to tilt this up. We have our power cables. It came through the back. I'm gonna run them through this lovely grommet we have up top here, I'll show you in the front where this is coming out. Just undoing a twist tie here, loosening it up so we get some extra cable length out of this one. Unfortunately, this one's gonna have to go long and we'll have to cable tie this down at some point. So we got both of these stretched through the front. 
adjust this, take these extra three screws, and drop them in our bucket. All right, so now we're gonna hook these straight up into little pin connectors here. Now these have little ledges right here, lips right here, and these have lips on the first, on the far left side of these things, so you know that you need to hook them up to that one. Now this one doesn't have a fourth pin on it because these can actually be used for pulse width modulation. So if one of these fans is a pulse, like I said, the one that can actually control the fan speed, which these they're just constant fan speed ones. Um, whatever one that this one uses will control this one as well. So those are, are four length ones. Um, you can actually see on our cooler one, there's actually the four little cables, or the four little holes there, because this one actually does have the extra, I guess you can call it channel, or cable, wire, whatever, for that fan control. So we're gonna be tucking this alongside here, pulling this back to this grommet on the back side, like so. Now I'm gonna do, so I'm going to take that previously mentioned twist tie. You guys can't really see this, but I take this, thread it through a little hole, grommet that's right here on the side. This will be used for a, a tw an actual zip tie later. But for right now, I'm just going to twist tie this shit down nice and tightly right over here. There we go. So, got that secure down there. Trying to make, I'm going to try and make these cabling as clean as we can off the bat initially. So it just keeps everything out of the way for us. So we've got our USB. Installed, I'm gonna pull it through a little bit more here in the back so it gets out of the way. The more this one, this will be screwed tied up under the back side of the motherboard here once we actually get this installed better. There we go. Let's make things nice and neat while well, we still can. So this bad boy right here is our HD audio. Which is actually all the way down here. You can't even see it because it's behind this. It's down in this area. So this one's going to actually have to come back through the, the grommet. I'm going to do is I'm gonna run it through this grommet right here. I'm going to run it along here. Oh, sorry. Run it to the bottom grommet. It's going to go plug in right up here. Just out of range of you guys seeing it, so don't worry. Just know that it's getting plugged into its jumpers, nice and solidly there. So we're just going to run this along the bottom of the motherboard, kind of get it tucked up, right up, right in there, in that corner, bam, like so. Feed a little bit more into it, so it can. And just pump that sucker. Now these are for the audio ports on the front of the PC. Oh, so there we go. Nice and neatly done. As you guys can see, it's all tucked right in under here on this bottom lip of the motherboard so it connects out of the way. So this one is going to be our power LEDs now. These are also going to have to come back through this right here. I'm assuming all of these are going to have to come down through this other grommet. So just our USB ones coming through that one. Mainly because we're getting plugged into this particular header right there. Just trying to get them all, all as one. So we put through here like so. There we go. Sorry for the noise. All right, so a reset, reset switch. Right, this one I'm actually going to consult our 
handy dandy notebook. Not notebook. It's just the actual thing that tells me where these connect to. So this is what we're looking for, the system panel header, particular ones, just to make sure that I get these plugged into the exact proper ports. And we have the power LED ones, which our, okay, so PLED plus is the top row. Okay, so there's, there's a pin off the top there. So it's PLED plus and then minus. So the Power LED plus. It's going to go on the far upper right jack. Let's make sure these go in properly here. goes next to it. Get those seated. Eh, check it out, back of my head. Get those seated in there nicely. And push that one through the grommet in the board. For right now. So the next one we're gonna put in is our power switch. Now our power switch is the next two on the top. Pretty sure it doesn't matter which one goes where. So you're just gonna slide on there. Like so. Nice and neatly. Now reset switch is the next one. Now it's going to be perplexed on this one. The reset switch is two here. There's also grounds on either side of the reset switch. So it's going to connect here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we now have those jumpers connected. These are going to get pulled through, and they will get zip tied down. So we have it still remaining nice and neat. Um, this one, I haven't really decided how this is going to get strapped down yet. I may run this through here. And if that's the case, you know what? We're just going to do this. We're going to unplug that and run it up through here. This, so many cables in the way already down there. Make sure our fan cables attach properly here. Yep. Just make, I'm just making sure not to bend these or anything of that sort. It's okay, we got that attached again. And that'll go through top part of the grommet right there. Get these side of the way. There. Okay. Those part of the cables are done. <laughs> Continuing onward. Um, we're gonna. We, so we got the HD audio. We have the USB three connected here. Next, I'm gonna need my CPU power cable out of my bag of cables. Now, this CPU power cable. We'll attach to this port right up top here. So we're gonna get this installed before we actually um, go to install the thing. So let's put it there. I'm just looking because they all have names on them. It would've been nice to sort of sort these all out. There's the extra SATA cable I don't need. The Molex cable I shouldn't necessarily need. VJ, that's for our graphics card. CPU, here we go. So, 
I'm not entirely sure. Actually, I should probably look at the this and see which one goes in where. Eight port. Okay, so these top two. Okay, so I'm just I was just looking at this to make sure that I was putting this in the right way, because these can go off the side here. We've got this is the CPU cable, evidence. So this one is going to go into the actual power supply itself. Um, we actually need yeah. So this one is two. The reason why I was making sure is making sure it wasn't wide enough because there's a little tiny clip on the actual power supply itself. And if you notice, the clips are different widths. So you have the one one width clip here and two width width clip there, which means it'll clip on in there and. Apologies for all the extreme close-ups. There we go. All right, so that's clicked in nice and neatly there. Thread this through the back, because we don't need this for right now. We're, we're putting this in just because we don't want it to potentially get hindered or have our access to this slot hindered by installing our uh, cooler. This is going to come down to the bottom. It's going to eventually come through this bottom grommet down here. Four. So we're going to make this a lot neater on the back. And you can see it's kind of a mess in the back right now. But handling this case is really weird because this front panel keeps clicking on and off. It's annoying, but whatever. Sacrifices must be made. So, um, actually, did I, did I twist this around? Yeah, I twisted this around. So we got CPU there. Our CPU fan's going to go there. And our 24-pin motherboard connector. That was this last giant cable I was holding here. So this is obviously the... So that one is what powers our CPU, which is our actual processor. Remember, a CPU is different from the actual computer itself. That's just powering this, specifically. This is going to power everything else on the board. So this lovely giant cable here, I believe is a 24. I gotta match this up. What? Okay, yeah. Just had to check. Um, so what this does is this actually this part this double split side goes into the actual power supply itself. This is the one that's going to go into the actual system case here. So just got a front panel off flipping the cable. Yeah, maybe. Front panel's off. <laughs> Plus, that gives me a nice little extra hand hold there. That's a good point. So we're going to click that in. Like so. Slide the USB off to the side for a second. Push this through. Push this through. Going to ah, grab this. Carefully feed it on through. Mr. Fix it. Yeah, I um we test fit this last night. Texas Texan Reverend and I test fit last night. It's gonna be, take up a lot of that system case, the system, yeah, system case area, but it actually is fine. So, yeah, see our, see what he's talking about is that um, our uh, what people are talking about in chat right now is. Our graphics card is going to be about this big. It extend, extends off of the board about to here. What it does is it covers up the M2 slot. And it also covers up, potentially interferes with this 3.0. It's going to cover up these two SATA ports as well, as well as this case fan slot as well. So you need to basically install some of this stuff beforehand. Now, these right here are SATA ports. These are what are going to, we're going to, I'm going to plug, there's two here and there's two here and there's two more over here. 
And these two I'm, I'm going to ignore for right now. Just ignore this. I'm going to be mostly worried about these two right here. These ones I'm going to plug my hard drives into. I'm going to leave that this one separate because this way, if I want to install the drive up top, I can just plug it into this particular SATA port right here and not have to worry about removing my graphics card or anything like that. It just makes quality of life better in the future. So anyway, I believe that we're good for that right now. So now comes the fun part. We're going to install our CPU cooler. So I'll be right back after a quick little break and stay tuned. <laughs> 